This is Abigail. She's a student and doesn't have a full-time job. So how easy is it for her to get credit at some of the big name shops on the high street? Well, first was Debenhams. There she was given a card with a credit limit of a thousand pounds. Then House of Fraser. Again, they approved her for a thousand pounds of credit. Oasis, the fashion chain, issued Abby with a card and up to three hundred pounds of credit. At Monsoon, she could have spent another three hundred pounds in store. And it was a similar story at Topshop. 350 pounds of credit, while New Look offered her 125 pounds. However, at BHS they carried out a referral, but refused to give credit on the spot. And the same at Marks and Spencer. At River Island they also refused to give Abby a card. Even so, in the space of an hour, she'd managed to get more than 3,000 pounds of credit. Um, it was all very quick and easy. We walked into the store, went up to the counter, asked for a store card, filled in a form. A sales assistant would make a quick phone call. And within five minutes, we'd have anything from 300 to 1,000 pounds to spend. The stores that offered credit defended their position. In a statement, Topshop said to us, "Every applicant is given a full credit check to prevent people receiving credit if they are not in a position which means they can afford it. This would include students." Store cards can be very tempting, usually offering a big percentage discount on any purchases you make the day you sign up. But they often carry a high interest rate. For example, if you use the card from Oasis, you'd pay interest at a rate of 28.9 percent, plus a 12-pound charge for any late payments. And of course, with every card, there are the terms and conditions. So for the unaware, it's potentially a minefield. And with more people in financial difficulty at the moment, perhaps the safest option is if you don't have the money, simply don't spend it. Ben Bland, Channel M News.